Hey guys, let's get right into this video and talk about the American Express and Ripple XRP possible partnership and the news that's been coming out this last few days and some of the exciting things that could be happening in the future for Ripple. So let's look at the market cap guys, 334 billion holding strong around there. We have about a 7,600, almost 7,700 Bitcoin. EOS is down under 15, Ripple under 70 cents. Okay, that's okay, but let's get right into this, guys. Look at this news right here I want to show you guys. American Express and Ripple at the Money 2020 Europe, changing the cross-border payments experience. So we see small to medium-sized enterprises make up the backbone of both dominant and emerging economies today, yet they are the ones who are the most impacted by inefficiency in cross-border payment systems, especially in the context of global e-commerce. Okay, so we know the cross-border payments is huge right now. Everyone's trying to get in on it, and Ripple's doing a good job making constant partnerships right across the financial institutions, Western Union, MoneyGram, all the news we heard about in the past. There's future things coming out, and we know about the big banks looking. And all we need, guys, we need one of these big banks to prove that XRP is helping them save money, make the transactions faster, and every bank is going to follow them. Okay, so let's go down here. American Express distinctly understands the issues that SEMs, SMEs encounter with traditional banking from cross-border payments to access to credit. The company's open form is a highly regarded and popular platform resort for resources and support to, small, to help small and medium-sized businesses grow. Together with Ripple, the companies are working to address the problems their customers face with cross-border payments. Ripple's XCurrent provides a new blockchain-based infrastructure for global payments. American Express customers are connecting to this infrastructure in a way that is designed for maximum impact and the best possible user experience. Okay, so the consumption of Ripple technology is not a heavy lift for SMEs, Teacher Treacher explained. This is because we're implementing within the existing payment networks and banking world. With Ripple Power Blockchain helping facilitate transactions behind the scenes, American Express customers in the U.S. are already seeing quicker payments, and you know, O'Flat already said the business has seen a decline in customer queries about the status of payments. So we know, I mean, it's been positive news, all the trials that have been using, right, the different platforms and technology that Ripple's out there making with the partnerships. And it's good news ahead, guys. And another thing we're looking at is we're always talking about the financial part of Ripple, right? Well, we know what happened to Ethereum, right? We knew what Ethereum got up around $1,300 or more. And the only functionality was for smart contracts, right? Now we know Ripple is gonna get back in on that. Four years ago they were looking at it, it wasn't the right time, now they're getting back to it. So Ripple XRP launches smart contract Codius, real, the real Ethereum killer. It could be if Ripple does it right. And this is huge, guys. Again, more money can be coming into Ripple, which again can be helping the price of XRP in the future, guys. Not only the financial side of it, we're also looking at smart contracts. And the way cryptocurrency is changing, smart contracts are huge. Now, Ripple is undeniably dominating the cryptocurrency news cycle with announcements of the new partnership, global events, and new products. Their partnership with major financial institutions and banks, we know those, places them at the leading position of blockchain general adoption with traditional corporate giants like Santander, MoneyGram, Standard Chartered, and Western Union utilizing their platform. Okay, now they've also done donations to universities. It's good branding, getting the word out there. Now, we see, despite their successes, Ripple XRP team has avoided one blockchain factor since 2015. That blockchain factor is smart contracts for decentralized applications. And we saw what happened to Ethereum. The only functionality Ethereum had was the smart contracts, and it boomed, right? Now, it's going to be even bigger as there's more, uh, you know, there's more room to share the smart contract space as the cryptocurrency world's growing. Their decision to suspend their original smart contract, Codius, four years ago made sense at the time. The platform did not have a substantial market and lacked standard transactions on the smart contract environment. Yesterday, former CTO of Ripple, Stefan Thomas, announced the revival of the smart contract platform, Codius, that will be geared towards changing the way valid, the sites validate the content. Okay, so what is Codius? Let's go down here. It's an open source hosting platform available for anyone who wants a secure platform to build or host a smart contract. The same way cloud computing made web hosting more accessible. Codius will make experimentation on the blockchain more widely acceptable because people won't need to build from scratch. And this is what I was talking about, guys. The cryptocurrency market now is much different. The market size has grown exponentially for smart contracts, which are now a regular tribute of many blockchain platforms. Also, the smart contract is emerging to be an appealing add-on for traditional, traditional businesses engaging in blockchain technology. 
If Ripple manages to create an easy-to-use and flawless smart contract platform, they could grow their returns even beyond their already admirable array, right? So we'd be getting outside of just the financial aspect of it. Now, guys, Ripple, the haters hate Ripple, the people who love Ripple, you believe in the long term. And what I want to show you guys is, you know, when we were, I was in Ripple a long time ago. So even if the price is down, I'm still sitting pretty good. I don't mind it. I know where it's going to go in the future, so I'm excited about that. But And why I'm telling you all this is because Ripple is a long-term hold. We don't need to get rich on Ripple right away, right? They're laying the groundwork. Big things are happening for Ripple. So if you're a believer in Ripple, you're in it for the long run, we're going to see really good things in the future, three, four, five years down the road. Who can imagine what we're going to be looking at a price of Ripple? And why I'm saying this, guys, is because currently in the cryptocurrency, everybody wants to get rich right away. They put 20 bucks into their first cryptocurrency and they think they should have a garage full of Lamborghinis the next week and it's not happening, right? But let me show you this one. Let's go back. We'll look at around 2015 and I want to show you NEM XEM. Okay, look at it right here. We got into NEM XEM quite a while ago, not this good a price, but a pretty good price, so we were sitting pretty, but I want to show you guys what can happen in a couple years, guys. 0. 0.0001. Would you like to get a lot of NEM, XEM at these prices? You'd fill up your bags at these prices, right, if you could go back in time. Little did people know when they were investing at that time, if they did, let's come back up. Today's price, um, NEM is around a quarter, 25 cents, but we've hit an all-time high on NEM of $1.80. Okay, so $1.80, guys, and look again. Could you imagine filling up your bags of NEM, XEM right there, 0001? This is just one example I'm throwing out there. I'm going to throw a lot of these examples out, guys. And why I'm saying this, too, is these are the projects, right? If you can get into a technology that you love, you believe in, you're excited about, if you can get in at these great prices of the new projects that are coming out now, just sit around, wait two, three, four, five years in the future, right? We don't have to be rich overnight. That's what happened to cryptocurrency. All this news came out of people making a ton of money. But the problem is a lot of these people who were making the big money at the bull run last year were in it previously, maybe a year or two before, right? And they had some really good projects. They were in at good prices and they saw some big gains. This bull run, when we saw this come up from 2015 at 0.001 and up to our bull run that we just saw at the beginning, well, the end of 2017, beginning of 2018, these people were laughing, right? Almost what, 18, 19,000 X returns on that? Imagine you put 100 bucks, 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks in, you'd be laughing, okay? This is gonna happen again. Also, I'm telling you this, guys, because we're also giving away a free membership to our Power Crypto Club. And our Power Crypto Club is full time, 24 7 crypto enthusiasts who like live, eat, breathe crypto. That's all they do, right? They're not the average crypto guys who are checking crypto at night or on the weekend and trying to catch up with some news. They're in it. They're finding out the projects that people should be in, that they want to be in. If you'd like to get in and share some news with them and maybe get some good information from these guys, all you have to do to win a free membership to our Power Crypto Club is subscribe to the channel. We always appreciate that. Give the video a like and then tell me in the comments what you think about Ripple or some other projects that you're excited about that maybe you want us to take a look at. And we're going to pick someone and let them know on Monday. Okay, guys, that's it. Remember, just stay in it for the long run. You don't have to get your $200 million off your 20 bucks in three weeks, right? It's not going to work like that. Just get in some projects that you're excited about and wait it out a couple years. This is still the early days of crypto, right? There's still people that don't know what blockchain and crypto is. So wait three, four, five years when the people at work that never knew what blockchain was are now asking you, hey, can you tell me about this project, that coin, okay? And you're gonna be laughing, telling them that you got back into Ripple at under 70 cents. Or maybe, maybe you're telling them, oh, I got into Bitcoin at $7,600. This is when we could be looking at maybe in three or four or five years, when that we have trillions of dollars in the market cap, we could have a Bitcoin of 40, 50, 60, 100,000 dollars. People will be laughing that you got in at $7,600, right guys? That's how it's gonna work. We're always gonna be better, but just put the time in and be patient. Okay guys, thanks. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep piling up your crypto guys. Take care, bye bye.